mechanic in this video we're going to troubleshoot a problem that we see often with mercedes and that's a warning message on the instrument cluster that says drive to workshop without changing gears so what that means is that uh, the transmission might not change gears even if you try here and use the, the shifter to move to reverse or drive or park a transmission might not change the gears and uh, that's important because if you try to turn off the ignition for example you might not be able to restart that car because the car needs to be in park or neutral for you to be able to start the engine and because the transmission is not in any of those two gears or doesn't know which gear it's in then um, you won't be able to start that engine so the first thing that you do is you can look at the gear selector here and if you see the P uh, highlighted like that or drive or reverse then um, that's a good sign it, it doesn't always um, sometimes if you don't see that uh, rectangle around one of the letters then you definitely know you have an issue with uh, what's called the ism or the intelligence servo module um, ism what ism does is basically it changes the gears for you when you uh, move the shifter up and down or put it in park uh, you no longer have a, a wire it used to be a cable or a mechanical link that went to the transmission and changed the gears now we have an electrical wire that just sends the signal depending on what you're selecting here sends the signal to the ism module ism is mounted right on the side of the transmission and changes the gears um, depending on what you select here so that module goes bad it goes bad quite often and we're going to take a look at how to diagnose it uh, so that module as i said earlier is called ism the early model used to be called ism mercedes then uh, i've change that because it had a lot of issues and problems uh they called the new or the upgraded version dsm or direct uh, servo module but it just is slightly designed differently inside it, it still does the same thing so we're going to take a look here we're going to use a you can scanner troubleshoot vehicle that has uh codes uh that um uh, with regards to um, um drive to workshop without changing gear so here we have the you can scanner and then what you're going to do is you want to go to uh, diagnostics and then select M and then select Mercedes. And then right here, um, we can do smart bin. You can do manual selection. Then you have to select the correct make and model. All right. Press OK. Pick the bin. Press left for left hand steering. And then here we have control modules. So we're going to select that go chassis actually go to drive and then we go ism or shift module so it might say dsm as well it depends um, on the year basically and then we can read codes here now if you cannot read codes at all from the ism that's an indication that the ism is defective in this case you can see all these codes they're stored codes so that means an issue was detected on, on the, in the past uh, there was a short circuit to positive uh, voltage of the vehicle is too low a lot of times these cars when the voltage of the battery drops below under 10 the ism module can struggle to power up and control the transmission that's a common issue um, you got communication with esp pass you can see all of these codes are stored so in this case we can go ahead and erase them press yes now if you erase them and the problem returns then uh, you need to you need to address it because you don't want to just ignore that issue. A lot of times the ISM has some gears inside and they start to wear out at first. They might just fail intermittently, but then they'll eventually completely fail and you don't want to be stranded somewhere. So now here though, you can do live data on the scanner where you can see different things. So gear is selected, and um, but also drive authorization. So the ISM needs to be uh, to, to the vehicle. So you can use the ISM from uh, another vehicle and just plug it in and expect that to work it needs coding it's a uh, part of an anti-theft system of the vehicle so if um, you take a used one it, there is places that will code that erase the data of the old vehicle and kind of pair it to your new vehicle uh, so that's one option and of course the dealership is another one but that's a lot more expensive but here there's a, uh, if you go um, to active tests uh, you can actually use the scanner to uh, to change the gears so as you can see here, you can um, you can change, you can put the transmission neutral, you can uh, move it to um, to um, to park and so on. And you can see status of ISM is learned, so it means it's paired to the vehicle. 
And that's it. Thank you for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.